when it comes to the coronavirus, there's vulnerable and then there's vulnerable. While some of us may be concerned about running out of staples from the grocery store, uh, hand sanitizer or even toilet paper, there are some of us who are worried about where their next meal is coming from. And that's why a place like Eva's Village comes into really critical use. We're joined now by Dan Rinaldo, who is the CEO here. We are outdoors, and that's not the usual here. No, no. Uh, we normally have three to 400 people in the community, the working poor and the homeless, eating in our community kitchen. That's obviously not safe. We've got to keep our social distance. We're following the CDC and the governor's recommendation. So we've established a takeout service. Tell us what the reaction has been from the people that you service here, because not only do you feed people, but you house people here as well. We're getting a lot of thank yous, our team, for, for continuing the service. They know what's going on. They feel the anxiety we all feel. And so there's a lot of appreciation. All right, we're gonna go inside and take a look at uh, how everything is going and what preparations are underway. So Dave Bine is the uh -huh. chef here. This is going to be normal for the foreseeable future. For the yeah? foreseeable future, this is going to be normal. We're still maintaining our lunch service, which is the twice a day service. Um, you know, we're, we're looking to feed uh, upwards of uh, probably between 400 and 500 people per day. It's a change, but it's a, it's so far it's been a welcome change as opposed to the more drastic option of having to, you know, suspend service altogether. Mayor, when it comes to institutions in the city of Patterson, uh, Eva's Village is one. How critical are they? And and what can the city do to help them yeah. with their operations? So you've seen Eva's Village evolve from Eva's Kitchen, which was founded over 40 years ago. And they're essentially what we're attempting to do here to help the homeless, because government doesn't always have the solutions. That's why we look to our nonprofit partners to assist us in providing relief for those that need it the most. On most days, this line could extend around the corner and number from three to 500 people. That's business as usual at Eva's Village. But business as usual is out the window. And Dan tells us that within just a couple of weeks, this line could end up numbering over a thousand. We're in Patterson. I'm David Cruz and JTV News.